Hello, welcome back to our pop culture. Today's Thursday, which means it's uh, Throwback Thursdays. It's the 19th episode, and we're going over the 10th album by Mariah Carey called The Emancipation of Mimi. It came out in 2005. Um, this album is it. It's it. Like, I came into this album pretty much, I was always into, or into um, Mariah Carey throughout my whole life, even when I didn't know it was her, what the came to the songs, but I, and I felt, I think I officially, my first official album from her was Rainbow, which is, which came out in 1999, which is so typical of me, but like, so that one came out, and then I kind of drifted away after that, and I've heard her singles, but never really got into her albums, until Emancipation, Emancipation of Mimi, I got as a gift for for my birthday and i just ha i for a longest time for a couple good handful of years i could not put it down even to this day i still listen to some of the songs like it's a it's a full-on album it's it's amazing so apparently just to go in some background with this album um apparently due to the fact of glitter that came out in 2001 including the movie and the soundtrack shit wasn't going well. Not only was that was a flop, but her, um, her, um, ex-husband, who was also her ex-manager, was just going after, was coming after her for blood, which is using J-Lo as a pawn as well, and also kind of just blocking her access to certain things. And so, um, Charm Bracelet, which was supposed to be the comeback album that came out in 2002, was supposed to be the, the comeback album, but it didn't really pick it up. It's, she was still in the midst of all of that, like, bullshit that was going on that was ho stopping her from being her full self in, in her albums and having people believe that she's not some, like, flop and she'd never been. And so here comes The Emancipation of Mimi, which is Mimi is a, is a um is a uh, nickname for her only her close friends just only close friends called her that name so it's supposed it's supposed to equal to this is supposed to be the personal album the album that she's meant to she, she wanted to do that she wants to have you know and it definitely is it's a complete it's also a party um, album too and it definitely has that it's so fun the whole like the whole album is really fun and it goes you have a full mix between I'm living my life and living my life with or without you. And then with the other side being um, a lot of like heartbreak too. Like there's a lot of, there's some songs like uh, We Belong Together, um, uh, One and Only, Circles. Uh, what was the other one? Yeah, I think those are the only ones that are like kind of heartbreak, heartbreak. Um, and the rest of the songs are more dancey or more kind of like, I like flirting with the guy, I want to get to know him, and he's like into me kind of thing. Um, and I really love that. So my favorite, favorite, favorite songs out of these lists pretty much goes to It's Like That, um, We Belong Together, my, uh, Mine Again, um, Say Something, Stay the Night, um, Circles, Your Girl, uh, I Wish You Knew. Joyride and Fly Like a Bird. Like, those, and that's bas and basically reading off the full album, but, like, that's how great this album was to me. I fell in love with it. I used to listen to it all the time. I just, I wasn't even heart in, in type, any type of heartbreak around that time, and I was still feeling when she talks about circles and just, like, the aftermath of being broken up on and just trying to move on with your life, but the shit just, get, that you keep seeing him, or shit just keeps on getting in the way of just reminding you of that person, who's just like, ugh, you know, and she just goes in circles, and it's just, it's just heartbreaking, and Say Tonight is kind of, like, controversial with the whole, like, I really into this, into this guy, but he's with somebody else, and he wants me to stay tonight, but I'm thinking, like, I probably shouldn't stay tonight due to the fact that you're with somebody else. Um... That one's very interesting. Um, Say Something with the Neptunes kind of producing in the background. Just, ah, uh, beautiful. Snoop Dogg coming in with his smooth vocals. Perfect. Um, mine, again, another one just heartbreaking. Just begging for a second chance for this, for, from an ex. And it's just so, so heart-wrenching. Like, it's so beautiful, too. She just, ah, uh, she just sings. 
Um, it's like that is a big, perfect beginning to this album. It kicks it off so easily. And I noticed that a lot of these al this whole album actually does not have, oh, that's a lie. Majority of the albums don't, or songs do not have, um, bridges. Like, it's like, that doesn't have bridges, We Belong Together doesn't have a bridges, uh, doesn't have a bridge, um, Shake It Off doesn't have a bridge, majority of them don't have a bridge, and some of them do, but very little. And I think it's kind of cool, I feel like, if anything, it keeps the vibe going the whole time. Because I think bridges is always a tr is always a tricky part, too. It's like, what else do you need to say to kind of bridge it over to the next chorus, to end it, you know? And I think that having to say, like, I said what I said in the verses, that's what I came to say, you know, is pretty cool to have. I really, 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 really want to talk about um, I Wish You Knew and Joyride and Fly Like a Bird. These are all three are pretty much ballads and oh my god, they just take me. They take me every time. Um, Wish You Knew is having a crush on this guy that, but really scared to approach him, but you can just feel the imagination and the daydream that she has and that kind of beautiful, like, I wish you knew you were that, that how much I really into you kind of thing. Joyride is just about that one of a kind type of love and how much it just keeps growing and no matter what they stay together kind of thing. Apparently this wasn't going to be on the album. It was supposed to be. It was supposed to be a different song called I Feel It that had a sampling of Here Comes the Feeling by the um, Dynamic Supremes. Apparently they asked for the sampling and they said no and they begged and begged and begged because they really want to put this on the album and they're like no, 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 no. So it was illegal to use it. So instead, Joyride came into place, which is kind of funny because this was produced by a 15-year-old producer named Young Genius. Like, insane. Like, it's insane. The song is beautiful. The song just takes me... I used to sleep to it, actually. Um, and then, finally, the last and one of the most powerful songs, um, Fly Like a Bird. Pretty much at praying for hope from God. And I'm not religious myself, but I felt it. I completely felt it in this out, this song. Just, just, just the power. And then, then the, like, the chorus comes in and the choir comes in and just... Uh, and then she just, the highest of highest, like, vocals of, like, um, a whistle tone, uh, it just takes you, it puts you in that mood. It's a complete mood, like, song. If I, if you haven't heard it, please get into it. It's, it, it literally is meant for, like, tears in the end of the album. Um, I appreciate this album so much. I had, it actually gave me way more respect for her, and also solidified my fandom towards her. Like, I'm not really, I have haven't really, I have gone into some of their newer stuff here and there, but I, there's nothing that breaks that can really compare to the Emancipation of Mimi, other than maybe her earlier stuff, but like, it's just insane. Uh, that's pretty much it for I got for this. Um, you already know the answer I'm gonna give you this one. This is a complete 10 out of 10 album. I love it. Um, leave a comment below, tell me what you thought. If you have history with her, um, with this album, please let me know. Let me know actually what your favorite song off this album is, and or if you want to answer, what's your favorite Al Mar Mariah Carey album? Um, also, if you like this video, leave the uh, like button or hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell too, so you get more of my videos. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.